Chase Lee Hockey here, Blue Futon, and in the theaters I saw My Policeman. I know this is in theaters for maybe two weeks before going to Amazon Prime November 4th, I think, but let's see if this policeman should be yours. <laughs> So my police man, what's about it's a very simple premise actually. We have a couple, couple in the 1950s and now if you call it today, where he married someone, but you know what? He's actually gay and now he's being it. Yeah, it's um. What else can I say about this movie? Because I actually fell asleep. Guilty. I try not to fall asleep in movies like this or just movies in general. Like The Good House, I almost fell asleep, in, but it kept my attention. But this one, oh my god, it was two hours of just, like, characters I just don't care about. Especially Harry Styles' character, because he was a dick, actually. Like, it's just like, do I actually care for you? I have no emotional just attachment to any of these characters. And so with that, I fell asleep. And it's very hard to me to give positive and negative for a movie I fell asleep to. But I'll give my best. I'll give my best, I promise. So with the positives... I did enjoy some of the acting, especially with the younger characters and what they were going through and the set pieces and the production design. I did feel like I was in the 1950s, and I in did enjoy that aspect of it. Other than that, I thought the story was just so ho-hum. You've seen it a million times before. I don't say this is there for shock at all with some of the sex scenes and some of the just making out, but it felt like it was just like almost like forced. of like, oh shit, I understand what you're going for. I know you're gay. But it's just like, okay, I understand what we're going for. Like, even with Don't Worry Darling with the, you know, oral sex scene, I found that a little bit uncomfortable. I truly did of like, it just feels forceful. And same with the movie Blonde. It's like, I understand that they're trying to do something artsy with Meryl Streep being naked. But I'm like, cover up. It kind of feels uncomfortable. And same with this. You're just like, I understand what you're going for. Calm down even with they, them. Or just like straight up just missionary or not missionary but like doggy style anal sex you're just like i don't need to see this shit i'm the same way with everything it's just like if it doesn't need to be shown i understand what you're going for with the emotional aspect of the characters but my goodness it didn't need to be in this movie just in my opinion same with bros same with any other like movie that maybe if a movie has to deal with sex like a sex topic like sex world or something like that that's trying to prove a point or, you know, uh, Zach and Mary make a porno. Like, that is the overall aspect of it. This, I understand what they're going for, but it just didn't work for me. And I'm going to talk about the critics. I think that's the most important thing about this because I thought Harry Styles still, his transfer from One Direction to the movie screen isn't working as well as he thought. I mean, he's in internals. Yeah, let's, eh. Don't worry, darling. I thought he was better in Don't Worry, Darling, in my opinion, rather than My Policeman. That is my personal opinion. And then the story, my goodness, I it's something you've seen like way too many times before and there's nothing original about it. I know a guy who is gay and really isn't straight, but he married to do the social norms of what was happening back in the day. Congratulations, we all know for a fact in the 1950s, 1940s, it was sucky balls for everyone. War, gays, blacks, depression, Korean War. I mean, it was just a shit sandwich of stuff where when you look at today, you're like, I shouldn't be complaining as much. I truly shouldn't be complaining. But I'll give you my score of this film, even though I don't think it's kind of fair, but I'll still do it for what I saw on screen. Then I want to go into the Rotten Tomatoes because this is wildly different. I mean, some of the critics in this one, I'll read them for yourself. So... Overall, I think the production design and some of the acting does work for what I saw. But other than that, Harry Styles still doesn't transfer well to the big screen. And then the story is just so kind of, I want to call it Oscar Beatty. But it's like, okay, I've seen this before. You're giving me nothing new for me to attach to any of the characters. And if I have no emotional attachment to any of these characters, why should I care? So my policeman will receive. A 2 out of 5 with futon, so he goes at 40%. So see the critics' news scores gave this one. So the critics, a 43% with 84 of them. Audience score, 96. Nah, this is just like the Swifties going to Amsterdam 
the stylies, whatever you call them, going to this and pumping it up even though they haven't seen the movie. There's no way it can be a 96 in my opinion because it's not in that many screens. But yeah, over 100. Here's quick consensus. Mildly arresting in its best moments. My policeman tends towards the tedious despite its respectable efforts of a cap- capable cast. Absolutely. I'm still disgusted by the 96 because I'm 100% sure some of these people haven't seen the movie. Like, like I'm 100% sure. But like I said, I want to talk about the critics down below. I mean, let's talk about some of the inaccuracy of some of these people. Um, okay, I don't listen to anything about the Rolling Stones, even though it did give it a negative. But anything the Rolling Stones gives is fucking garbage. Now, knowing what the Rolling Stones editor thinks, like the government should like look for misinformation, uh, COVID, uh, the the vaccines. I mean, I hate to say it, I got a vaccine, but it's like the government shouldn't judge misinformation. That's just fucking stupid. All right, I want to go for some of the just crazy ones of like where people are like great script, while other people are saying no. Like okay, this one. It's another failed attempt to elevate Harry Styles in the acting world. He certainly isn't my actor. And then here we have one, two down, saying Styles' undeniable charisma cements the notion that his character would be such an irresistible force in the lives of two paramours, which it, the movie simply wouldn't work. So that is right there, just on the first page. Someone saying, no, no, no for Harry Styles, while someone saying, yes, yes, yes. I find that very interesting. Like some of them are like more of like you could get some similarities, but this movie is vast differences. I want to find one about the script. I'm sorry, you'll probably see a jump cut now. So let's well, find the two script ones. All right, back up. We're gonna do another one on the same page. Little White Lies. Come for Harry. Stay for the barnstorming Gina McKay's performance. Right underneath it, you have aisle seats. Harry Style may be a great pop singer, but he isn't a particularly good actor and there we go uh it's it's fascinating where some this is that different of people saying here's another one a four out of ten by ign you know some people don't like ign my policeman is underwhelming in every way from its pottling script to its woefully subpar performance from styles better call the fuzz okay you see what they did there ha 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 uh this one's saying, my policeman is certainly a stronger acting showcase compared to Harry Styles' pre outings. I disagree. I think he was better in Don't Worry, Darling. I'm trying to find one about the script now. Okay, Financial Times with homophobic hate crimes rising. Give me the statistics of that. Now was the amp time to remind viewers how awful life was before homosexual relations were decriminalized. Yet, somehow my policeman admits its political mark. I want to see these homo homophobic hate crimes rising prove that the crimes are homophobic you can't if someone kills someone in the street boom 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 and the person was gay doesn't mean it was a homophobic attack because maybe the person shooting the gun didn't know he was gay so these labels financial times fuck off san francisco chronicles after two films as a leading man it's clear that styles is more than a handsome face he's a real talent and has the explicit explicable X factor that makes it different to take your eyes off him. Holy shit. Then right underneath it, Common Sense Media. However, the film suffers from a poor script, and unfortunately, Harry Styles doesn't convince that he leaped from pop stardom to silver scream to be seamless one. See, then here's, oh, here's one that's even bad, worse. From Alternate Lens, far more laughable than moving. My policeman probably would have fared better played as a Parody. Damn, that's harsh. And I know that I saw one about a good script. Here's one San Jose. Why are all the California people loving this one? San Jose Mercury News. Ignore the bad reviews. This is a stunner. To fucking who? Okay, here he is. Fim4.com. Despite overall unevenness, the script retains the bones of a compelling story of betrayal. Okay, that's not like great script, but here's one where I want to talk about at the very end before I talk about the script. Blah, 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 My Policeman is still very much a film worth watching, especially as an LGBTQ plus AII, two squared, apostrophe S, re- continues to evolve as we look back to where we started. I want to go back to that, but I want to find the one that talked about it was a great script to like kind of prove a point. 
Oh, here's one. IndieWire. Do we really need another reminder that times were bad for gay people, which of course means that love must suffer because of it? And still are bad for gay people? Please tell me how it is really, really bad for them. Like, I just don't know. Like, even Dave Chappelle saying it, like, it's like, even bros, straight people had a good run. It's, so it's like, what? This fucking mixed messaging. Keep the Kleenex variety with reach. You'll still want it. Okay. Uh, maybe I can't find the one about the good script. God damn it. All right, here's one. Only one with the room. At times, the skirt's close to being melodramedy, but it succeeds as being a faithful adaptation to the book. Doesn't talk about the script, though. Anyway, I gave up. I failed, you guys. Okay, for that one about LGBTQ plus AIIP apostrophe S, uh, because it changes every day now with the gender fluidity and every shit like that, which I truly have no fucking clue what anything is anymore. Like pansexual. That means you love everything, so that makes you bi. Is that the same thing? Bi means you love both. Pan means you love both, too. Like, I don't fucking know. I truly don't. But anyway, I see some of these critics going in saying, it's a topic about this. It's automatically right here. If it's a talk about something else, it's right here. You should all go into a movie with a steady slate, not knowing what the topic is. If it's my policeman, one kind of forever. If it's Amsterdam, Women King. If it's Forrest Gump. If it's Scary Movie. If it's, I don't know, The Art of Self-Defense. Or if it's Big Hero 6. They all need to be right here. And I feel like a lot of critics now, they see Michael Bay. It's down here. They say it's LGBTQ+. It's up here. Nah, fam. Needs to stay level. So let's go with it. 40 4396. Chase Huck with the Blue Food Tone. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope well, no one thing is Blue Tontopia. You have Blue Tone. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I know this is a very weird review, but I apologize. I fell asleep. Maybe if it's back on Amazon Prime, I'll try it again. But there's a 99.9% .9 chance I will not. <laughs>